Welcome to Fast Kitty Crafts! Today I'll be showing you two projects that can transform a boring bathroom cabinet into a charming coastal farmhouse feature. The upper part of the cabinet was just bugging me for years. It served no purpose. It was a little crooked. So then I thought, I think I'll just make it into a beach sign. The lower part of the cabinet was just blah. I thought of applying actual beadboard, but ultimately thought it would just be too bulky since water can sometimes drip down and it would just add too much dimension and then it would just create more damage. Here's a quick preview of what we'll be working on today. The first project will be tackling the beach sign. First I created the word beach and the arrow graphics on the computer and printed it out in three parts and then on the back you'll want to go over the edges with a nice dark pencil and then I just taped it on and traced around the image. Next, I just filled inside the lines with some dark gray paint and a small flat brush. Here is the final result. It's not super perfect, but it just kind of adds to the charm. Here's a look at what the beadboard lines will look like. I really wanted kind of a soft effect, so I came up with this technique. It's actually perfect because if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off. It's actually used, it's an oil paint stick. You, you can buy these on Amazon. I'll try to put a link below, and it's in white. Now next you just want to find the center of your door and make a mark. And then grab a piece of painter's tape and center it right on the mark. And then to make it perfectly vertical, I just used a Dollar Tree level. And then carefully line the side of the tape with the side of the level. And then next you'll want to apply the next piece of tape. I'm recycling 
pieces of tape that I used on the other side and they're spaced about an eighth of an inch apart. You can just eyeball it, it's okay. It doesn't have to be super perfect. Oh, and I wanted to mention I'm using Dollar Tree masking tape. It's an inch and a half wide, which I think it's not super standard. It's, I think it's wider than what you find at other hardware stores, so it was the perfect size for this project. I know the end result doesn't really look like beadboard, but if you just want to get the feel of it and dress up a really plain door, this is just a really quick, easy, and fun way to go. Next, for the fun part, you just go over the gaps with your oil stick and then just lightly rub it in a little bit. I didn't want it super even all the way down. You could get a similar effect with a paintbrush and some paint and just kind of dry brush it in, but then you run the risk of it leaving a really hard edge and then it can bleed. So I love the oil stick because of the erasable factor. If you don't like it, it just rubs off. Next, you just carefully remove all of the tape and then you can rub it in here and there to where you like it. And then if you're happy with your lines, you can immediately coat it with a water-based clear coat and then this protects it in case you were to accidentally bump it. Because normally with the oil paint sticks, it takes about two days for it to fully dry. And by adding the clear coat on top, it can be fully dry to the touch in about 20 minutes. I recommend using a brush that's on the softer side and then just go over it very carefully. Next I wanted to give the beach sign a little vintage distressed feel, so I just went over the words with the same color as the cabinet paint and just lightly dry brushed it on. And here's the final result. For the finishing touch, I added some white paint on a dry brush around all the edges, top and bottom. And it really adds to the weathered beachy cottage look I was going for. Thank you for joining me for part two of my Coastal Farmhouse Bathroom Makeover on a Budget series. Join me for part three where I show you the full reveal before and after. See you next time. Bye for now.